Hello, I'm Dr. Priscilla. I am a native English speaker and I live in the United States. I want to first say thank you so very much for making me feel welcome in your group today, Let's Talk English Club. I really enjoyed participating and I really felt as if I was truly welcomed and valued there. I'd like to take a moment now to give you a little more information about me so that for those of you who have yet to meet me and those of you who only met me today via my voice because my camera wasn't working, I want to give you more of a formal introduction. I am a native English speaker. I'm native born and my first language is English. And I love speaking English. I love the English language. I love everything there is to like about my native language, just as I would believe that you love everything there is about your native language. With that said, I also hold a doctorate in education. I have a PhD in education from the University of Phoenix, located right here in the United States in Phoenix, Arizona. In about 2000 and let's see what what year was that 2007 I made some notes over here to the side 2007 I started working on Skype probably before some of you were even born or definitely not when you were in school that is when I started on Skype when I was a little girl I lived in the country and to me living in the country which is the rural area is very hard work very hard work we would go into town and shop maybe once every two weeks the family all got in my dad's station wagon or the van and we went into town and we'd stay in town all day then we'd come back home and we would be home working in the yard in the gardens and in the summer we would even be hired out and work in tobacco and cotton. That was really hard work. And if we weren't working in tobacco and cotton, we were working in the garden and going to the farmer's market on the weekend during the summer to sell the produce. When I got the opportunity to move to the city, I did that probably right after graduating high school. I attended a business college, junior college, and my first real job was working at an insurance company. And I really enjoyed working for the insurance company. And sometime after that, I was married. I married a Nigerian and we have one son. His name is Edwin and he's a great son. I'm so proud of my son, Edwin. Edwin has traveled a lot. He, he travels with his dad about every year going to Nigeria or some other distant place. I have been to Nigeria just once, but hopefully I'll go back to Nigeria again. I have traveled to Mexico. I have traveled to Dubai. I've traveled to California. Well, lots of places in the United States I have traveled. So I'm well versed in some states within the United States. Now, someone asked me a great question today. Why did I want to join the group? And I said I had never been asked that when I joined groups before, but I want to be quite honest with all of you the reason why I'm joining the group. I am a educational coach. I do work with individuals to improve their English fluency, their confidence, pronunciation, and to help them pass the IELTS, TOEFL, or any of those English proficiency exams. But let me be clear, this is not why I'm joining this group. I am not looking for students to become my students. However, in exchange for my joining your sessions, what I hope to gain is insight into how I can help you become a better version of yourself. 
So what does a better version of yourself look like? It would look like whatever it is that you want yourself to look like, starting from whatever day you start and what do you project yourself out to be? I am a goal setter and I have a goal for myself. My goal is to increase my YouTube membership, increase the productivity of the videos that I'm creating. And I want to create videos that are beneficial to students such as yourself. So my interaction within your group, within the club is to learn as we talk about English, the Let's Talk English Club. As you talk about English, as you talk through the English, I'll look at how I can create videos to help not just you, but other members of the non-native English speaking community. When I completed my studies, I did have, to, as I completed my studies, I had to do research and I worked with over 2000 non-native English speakers to determine what are some of the best ways, strategies, and techniques to help students become proficient and comfortable in the English community. I also want to say before I close, there are many ways to learn English. You can decide based upon the person that you are following and who you believe is competent and able to take you further you cannot follow 10 different horses and get to the same place at the same time. So I would say vet the people that you follow. If what you're listening to doesn't make sense to you, do not continue to listen to it. That could even include me. If what I say to you doesn't make sense when we're talking, you can challenge me on that, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I will change my belief. But I believe each and every one of us that will be in the Let's Talk English group, I think each and every one of us can learn from the other. So feel free to connect with me. I will leave my information for my YouTube channel, my website, Telegram, Instagram, LinkedIn, and all of the other social media that I'm affiliated with. And if I didn't say Facebook, so I am hoping to build a relationship here in this community. I will not attend every session, but every session that I do attend, I'm there to listen and answer questions that you may have. It isn't necessarily to teach you lessons. I will not be doing lessons. I am not looking for students to teach because I think in the environment that I'm developing and creating with you guys, it is one in which we just get to talk. All right. Again, I'm Dr. Priscilla. Thank you so much for making me feel welcome in your club. And until our next meeting, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.